Good evening, brothers and sisters. Tonight, um, I wanted to speak a prophetic warning to the United States, and I have waited a couple days because a lot of times, um, you know, I pray and discern always, but some of them are very heavy. So, um, I would just like to ask you to take it to the Lord Jesus Christ to also um, ask the Holy Spirit for revelation, for confirmation in your own spirit. So this is February 10th. I received this warning. Um, the Holy Spirit initially gave me Philippians 2, chapter 2, verse 4. Each of you should look not only to your own interest, but also to the interest of others. That's very true, to be Christ-like. This I love this picture of Jesus. He's smiling. But he will come back as the judge. So I will say this, brothers and sisters. I do receive a lot of warnings, which are difficult for me to speak. But he always says, warn them, but also tell them of my love. Tell them of my love. He always you know, tells me to tell people of his love which the Lord chastises those whom he loves. So just keep that in mind, please. As I was praying in my prayer closet this morning, the Holy Spirit said, Your shoreline shall be washed away. The wicked have caused such abominations in my eyes. I see all those people, even in the darkness, I see all things. Nothing is hidden from me. I am all-powerful, all-knowing. I am the great I am. This wicked nation shall bow down before me, humbling herself in her filth and degradation. Her pride she wears like a cloak and clings to it. I shall venge the innocent, the saints and the like. My anger shall flow like a great tumult upon your land. I will protect and endure the children of my fruit. The chosen are protected with my hand. Those who bow down and humble themselves before me, those who know my son, Jesus Yeshua. I have given him power and authority. His time is drawing nigh. He gave so much to this wicked people. Where is his reverence, my son? His sadness is evident at all the loss of his children. My anger heightens because of his pain. He is merciful but will come back to judge the wicked. He shall remove them from the earth. The chaff he will gather and burn in the lake of fire. He is separating the wheat from the tares. His harvest is plentiful, but he wants all of his children back to his flock. None forsaken, yet they run from him to their idle ways, their idle time, and waste, wasted and lost, not in, in, in intimacy with him. The enemy distracts and divides. I am of restoration and of peace. I wait for my children. I long for them to come to me. I want them to, to tell me their problems and their worries. I will take upon my back their sorrows and their pain. I am their father and my love endures forever. One drop of my love would heal the world. It is beyond comprehension of the human understanding. My existence many do not grasp with their small self-centered theological minds. Some of my children who are perceived by the world as the lowest shall be elevated to the highest in my realm. They, in their humility, understand more than those who perceive themselves as well-read and above others in their own minds. They look down upon those with lesser degrees and understanding. They are pious, yet empty of compassion and love. A true understanding of spiritual truths and what I stand for, who I truly am. They seek after doctrinal, doctr pardon me, doctrines and degrees and don't humble, humble themselves to hear my voice. My sadness grows as my children are being plucked away into the dark abyss, denying me and who I am. The demons tempt them with fallacies and fantasies, their empty souls longing for worldly treasures that have no value in heavenly realms. I long to see my children happy. I long to fulfill their needs and desires. Why won't they come to me? This world tells them to work hard and strive for more. Everything is centered around greed and gain. 
Why have more if you do not accept eternal salvation freely given? Everything, meaning things, of this earth fade away like a mist in the wind when I call you home. You choose your eternal home. You are either for me or against me. If you sit on the fence, you do not serve me or my Father, God. You cannot be heaven bound with your foot in the world. You must cut off and remove all that doesn't serve me. Remove what tempts you to sin. Allow no temptation to trick your eyes into the lies of the enemy. He is, is of deception, trickery, and deceit. He has fallen to the depths of this earth for his pride. He has given a short time to tempt my children. At my reign, sadly, they are falling away. My time is coming, for the shaking is at hand. My hour is coming quickly. So many unawares, blinded by the world and its pleasures. They fill their bellies for a day, yet their souls are empty and lost. Come now, my children, come quickly. Come to the altar. Lay down your sin. I am a redeemer. Lay down your pain. I am a healer. Lay down your worries and cares. I am your father. Lay down your diseases and addictions. I am a physician. I am all things to whom believe in my name, Jesus, Yeshua. My Father predetermined my destiny so that many would have eternal salvation in my name. So few accept what is freely given, but paid for with such a price. I am calling. Will you listen? Will you hear my voice? You must tune out the noise, the worldly rush and fervor, to hear the voice of your Heavenly Father. I do not yell to draw you nigh. I tug at your heart, which I created. I, too, have given you free will. You choose. You have a choice. Won't you come to me and dwell a while? And brothers and sisters, this is, this is really heavy. I water fasted um, when I received this word. And I, a while back, years ago, I had prayed and asked the Holy Spirit about fast. And he explained to me that it quickens the spirit. So I just pray that you are blessed today. I, I did another video this morning at 10 a.m. But I tried to upload it five times and I keep having to delete it. It was the uh, Jonah 3 um, reading that the Holy Spirit was putting upon my heart. So I pray you are blessed today, brothers and sisters. I pray that... If you don't know Jesus, that you will find him today. And I just ask that you pray about the word that I received. And I pray to God that you come to know my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.